So what about updates? Let's look into the case where we already have one screen that is fully linked to our localized project and for which we already have the case created. Let's say that we need to copy it completely because there are lots of things to be kept the same. And fortunately, in the moment, if we copy the entire page, we do not inherit links to these elements. So, which means that you need to link the content one more time. But there are some ways to work around that. So here we have some proposition of key names and actually we can click on this button to, key, to link the text to existing key in localize. And it will search by text. In this case, it's sign up. And if we update our page, it basically does the same as if you type in sign up and search within translations. So both of these keys will be, for example, shown here, sign up with Google and more. And you can select the key that looks, you know, most similarly to this element. And then you will not be trying to create a key for this element anymore because it's already linked and only these remaining keys will be pushed into localize for key naming creation. And you can go one by one and link all of them. But that might also not be an ideal approach because it might require some manual effort. So what will, what shall we do here? Let's imagine that we add another button somewhere here and name it, I don't know, like cancel or something like that. Let's imagine that the entire screen is the same beside this one extra button. When we are pushing content, we can actually select this option to match text to auto link existing translations. We have not used it in the previous videos in this series. So what it actually does is exactly what I've shown you here, but it will go like for all keys, text by text, it will copy text, it will search for this text in localize it will find you know the closest the closest match and if the text is exactly the same better as it is in localize better it will link this element to this respective key why i told the best match it, it's actually exact match but in some cases, they can be duplicates. And if this key, for some reason, has duplicate, it has a duplicate, then when we will be searching for this better word, there will be two identical keys. Let's duplicate it. So in this case, we would have this key and this key, and they both will look the same. So let's even turn on this exact match for our search. And yeah, you will see that there is this better and better key. So localize will not know which one to link to, and it will pick the first one that appears in the search, but that's rather narrow use case so let's just export as we selected before so let's select the entire screen and let's export everything 
with this option being enabled, auto linking translations, existing translations. So in this case, it should go text by text and link each of them to the keys that are already in localized. And if we do not select this option, we will just create this linking attempt and there'll be no keys created at all. Anything that won't be linked automatically will remain unlinked. And I will show you the result. We can go to localize. We will actually see here that there were no keys, new keys created. And here we can see that most of these elements were linked. But if we select the entire screen, we will see that one key was not linked because such text does not exist yet in localize. And if you decide to export this content again, now you can create a key now for this cancel button. I'll just add a tag for simplicity to show you that you have one new key being created. If you open localize, too many tabs already. You should see this new, newly typed and added key cancel. And you'll see that only one key was created, but that was actually a long way to get where we are. Technically, you can do everything in one go. When you are pushing content, you can enable both buttons to create keys and to auto link existing translations and auto linking translations will be the first, you know, a priority attempt. So localize will plugin will try to link what everything that was already created and that can be linked based on text. And for the, those element text elements that are new, the plugin will create the missing keys. So you can really achieve the same result in one goal pushing content with both buttons being, both options being selected. And that's basically it for applying updates and pushing new screens that have variations of text or buttons.